Hello, this tutorial will show you how to make the perfect eJam Jobs Job Seeker profile. Naturally, therefore, we are going to go to eJamJobs.com. Once we enter the website, go ahead and locate the yellow register button on the left hand side of the screen. Because we are registering a new account, we're going to go ahead and fill out the indicated required fields below. As you notice on the right hand side of my screen, I have my resume open because we want to make sure that whatever we put into these required fields reflects what is on our resume. Therefore, we're going to do the following. Make sure that you capitalize and spell everything correctly so that it reflects what is on your resume. My resume says I live in Jamaica, therefore I'm going to write it appropriately. I know this may be not correct, but for the sake of this video, please excuse me. On your resume, you want to make sure that you have multiple contact information for potential employers so that if they are interested in your profile, they're able to contact you. Therefore, as you see on my resume, I have my phone number as well as my email address listed. Of course, you want to stay as honest as possible. Now, above and as well on my resume, it reflects that I currently am located in Jamaica. Therefore, when I get to this required field and it asks where I am I, I say I am in Jamaica. Now, being that I'm in Jamaica and I'm making this job seeker profile, I am interested in working, let's say, in the US on an H2B visa. Now, if that is also the case for you, you want to make sure that you click this to reflect that. Of course, if you have other interests, you click accordingly. But this field is very important because not only will eGEM recruiters be better able to single you out and contact you when such jobs that reflect your interests are available, you also want employers to know that that is what you're interested in too, so that if your interests align, you guys can make a very suitable fit for each other. So this field is very important. For the sake of this video, I'm going to keep with my example and say that I want to work in the U.S. on an H-2B visa. Now, as you see, my resume is very much a customer service representative oriented history. That is what my experience is in, and therefore that is what my job seeker profile is going to represent. So when it asks me what position slash job I am interested in taking, I am going to locate customer service because that is what I have experience in, and therefore that's what I qualify for. You want to make sure that whatever you fill out in these required fields reflects what's on your resume. As you will see on the right hand side of my screen as well, I did graduate college, so I will put that accordingly. And I have multiple years of experience, so I'm going to put 5 to 10. My employment status, because I'm, a, I'm making this job seeker profile and for the sake of this video, I'm going to say I'm unemployed. Now, my username. This will be not only how you log in, but also visible to employers. So you want to make sure this is professional. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to call it what my first name is, test. Now my email address, as it's located on my resume, will then be what I register my account as a job seeker as. Now I have to copy and paste. To verify. I'm going to copy and paste to make sure that it is spelled the same and I don't have to worry about whether it's wrong. 
course, I'm going to put my own personal password. Now, profile picture. This is very important. This is a profile for employers. So you want to make sure that the picture that you select is friendly and professional. For the sake of this video, I've already uploaded the picture I wanted to put. I'll click that I'm a job seeker seeking part-time or full-time employment. Of course, if when you're creating your job seeker profile, you can click accordingly. You want to reflect exactly what you're looking for. Now, resume detail. I am going to adhere to the requirements as you see them. It says that we accept only Word documents, PDF files, and these other listed setups up to 1000 kilobytes. You want to make sure that this, the resume that you upload reflects this because if it does not, you will not be able to move past this registration phase. Now, as you see on the right hand side of my screen, my resume is a Word document. So I'm going to locate my resume lo um, that has been saved onto my computer. And I am going to upload it. As you see, it has been uploaded and I can move forward. Now, my about me, it reads, it describes your professional work experience. Please note, our policy prohibits personal contact details in this section and profiles in violation will be deactivated. Therefore, you wanna make sure that whatever you're going to put in this box reflects what it asks you to put and not to put. So, adhering to the policy, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste my professional summary because it reflects what, who I am, what I'm looking for, and why I would be the best fit. Therefore, once I ensure that my profile is complete and that I've filled out every one of the indicated fields, I'm going to go back down, fill out this, and click the register button. And you see, my profile picture was found to be too large, so I have to adjust accordingly. When you get an error message, it's going to make you refill some fields. So you want to make sure that once you're ready to click that register button or submit button at the bottom of the screen, everything is ready to be submitted and nothing is left out. The only thing that appears to be left out is my password, therefore I will fill it in. Now, my profile picture. Of course, you're going to want to take a personal, professional, and friendly profile picture. But for the sake of this tutorial, I will be Googling a professional headshot. because that's what you want to make sure that your profile picture reflects. You want it from the chest up, a smiling, good looking picture of yourself that fits the size requirements. So let's go back and find out what that is. Our size requirements are 350 by 350 and not sideways. You want to make sure that your profile picture is standing right side up vertically. All right, so now that we're looking we're looking for 300 by 350 by 350.
I'm not going to choose this picture because we want a front facing picture and I don't like her posture. So we're going to go ahead and keep looking. This would be unprofessional. This is a picture that you're trying to attract potential employers with. Therefore, we're going to go with this one. And we're going to look at the dimensions. This is 350 by 350. That's beautiful. As you see, she's smiling. She's got professional attire. Everything looks appropriate and presentable. And that's what you want to make sure because besides your name, the first thing that potential employers are going to see when they look at your profile is your profile picture. So you want to make sure that their first impression of you is a good one. Therefore, I'm going to save this image. As profile picture. Yes, because my original one was too big. Now, of course, for your own personal job seeker profile, you are going to have your own picture. I have presets. Now we're gonna make sure that everything is reflected. I see that I modified today at 249 and it is in fact 250. So I'm going to go ahead and choose it because that is the most recent picture we just got off of Google. And look at that. I was going to go ahead and fill out this caption plus press register, but I see that no file has been selected for my resume. It would not let me move forward. So you wanna make sure that everything is filled out so that it does not bar you from entering. I'm just going to go ahead and fill this out as you will too, essentially. And before I press that register button, we wanna make sure that everything is right. So it didn't let me move forward before because it said profile picture is the wrong type or it's too large. We got a smaller picture and it will then pass its test. Everything is filled out. Beautiful. Now we click register. I'm not going to say my password. All right, it says that I have registered successfully and please check my email to activate. I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to go to my email and authenticate my job seeker profile. You see, it has already came in and I click my eJam Prime registration. All right, I'm ready to activate my account. So I click the here link. It opens me up to a new tab. All right, I have authenticated my account. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out. All right, now we're in. So as you see, this is going to be the first thing that potential employees are going to see when they look at your profile. So you wanna make sure that it is the perfect first impression. As you can see, my username is appropriate because it matches my first name. My address is reflected, or excuse me, it mirrors what is re reflected on my resume as well as my contact information. My about me is my professional summary on my resume and it very clearly illustrates who I am what I'm looking for as a job seeker and why as a job seeker, I stand out from the crowd. It highlights my skills and everything else that would be attractive to potential employers. I hope this helped you and stay tuned for the next tutorial on how to better your eJam jobs job seeker profile.